What's going on YouTube? It's your girl 3D Fitness Soldier back with another video. Y'all, who cares what they think? Who cares what they think? Who really cares about what people think about you? This has been something and a topic that's been holding me back for a lot of my life. I'm like, okay, now I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to show up for myself. I'm going to do whatever it takes that I need to do in order to be successful, in order to be authentically myself, in order to do it, whatever it is that God put inside of me. So who cares what they think? There's going to be spectators. There's going to be people that's constantly judging. There's going to be people that watch you and maybe talk talk about you behind your back there's going to be all those type of people but who really cares those are usually not the people that are in the game you know how people watch sports let's talk about Kobe and Shaq like when they was playing the game like pe there were spectators there was people that was constantly judging oh Kobe this his shot could have been like this his shot could have been like that or he looked like this out there but these are spectators these are people that's on the bench and watching the game they watching the game of life they watching you play the game of life they're watching you play the game of life so you can't really care about what people think about you and this is what I'm learning too like f, f what anybody has to say or think about you like I just start going hard with content posting making sure I try to post every single day and I'm like you know what God I no longer care about how somebody perceives me or what they think I just need to get the message that you put inside my heart out there and once you start to show up like this and you start being obedient what God is telling you to do I promise your life will always change your life will always change so don't worry about the spectators. It's always a spectator in every sport, but they're not the ones that's out there on the court playing the game, making millions of dollars from it. They are the spectators. They are the, they are the ones that are watching, spending their money to see you. So that's what I wanted to bring y'all a message on. Who really cares? Don't allow what other people think about you, how they feel about you, get to you. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't ever receive constructive criticism from people because that is needed but at the same time you got to keep going you know you got to keep going and you cannot care about what others how they how they view you and, and what they think about you and God is teaching me this like just put yourself out there you have so much to offer you have so much to give and you cannot care about who's watching a lot of times I'll be like oh um Maybe these people see my video and this and that, you know, but you cannot worry about those things because God got you. I actually just had someone comment on one of my videos, like because I had posted a, a short showing like the best cardio equipment for home. Um, and I have like this, um, it's called a maxi climber and it's this cardio equipment where you could put it right in your living room. To me, it works every muscle in your body. <laughs> And I posted it and I'm like, best cardio equipment. Then somebody in the comments is like, that's not the best cardio equipment. <laughs> you know, like people go always have something to say. This person is a random account. Like, and, and it's nothing. It's no big issue. I'm just telling you guys this to let you know. Somebody is always going to be critiquing you and watching you from the sideline. You in the game, you playing the game and you got your critics, you got everybody. But guess what? You still on your way to greatness, whether they critique it this way or they critique it that way. So I just want to give y'all this video and tell you, just keep playing the game. Just keep playing the game of life and you will be where you want to be. And guess what? Eventually, I've learned that those spectators eventually become they become fans. They become fans. They become the ones that's like, oh, I remember when you were like this. I remember. Congratulations. Do you know, like me, people have seen my whole transformation, like what I've been through. People that know me, know me from like Facebook, Instagram. They seen how far I've came. And back in the day, they, pro they was probably like spectators. They was people that was like, oh, she's this. She's going through this. She's this. She's that. But now. All like that song now they always say congratulations and guess what that's gonna be you now they always congratulations we so proud of you we so this we so that but back in the day they were spectators there was people that judged they did all of that and eventually there'll be people asking you how did you do it how did you do it but you got to realize people will project 
They will project their fears. They will project their doubts. They will project onto you. So you can't feel no type of way when they do those. You got to just know, oh, that's, that's a fear of theirs. That's why me, I had to get comfortable and stop, not comfortable. I had to stop telling people what it is that I wanted to achieve because then they would project onto me like, I don't know if you should do that. I don't know. But what is it that God told you to do? It don't matter what they think you should do. It's about what God told you to do, you know? So don't worry about people and their opinions. And don't get me wrong. You could always take constructive criticism, take that criticism and then be like, okay, now, now I need to do what God want me to do. Like, I understand what you think, but it's time for me to move in my purpose and what I need God for me to do and not care, not care, not give no Fs about how somebody think about me, you know? So ultimately all, I just wanted to bring y'all this video. It's actually time today. I work 16 hours at my nine to five. Now I'm about to go right back into the, into the job. And I just wanted to bring y'all some quick content uh, on not caring, not caring for a long time. I cared about what other people th thought about me, how they perceive me, this, that, that'll just keep me in my mind all the time. Like if you care about that, you got to know what's deep down inside of you and know, guess what? Everything you done was, was for a good cause for a good purpose. And I, and, and you know, you got a good heart and you know, you, 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 you are coming from a good place. And that's really what matters at the end of the day. So y'all have a blessed night, have a blessed day, wherever, wherever side of the world you're on. And I just wanted to bring this video just to tell you who cares, who cares what anybody has to say, who cares what anybody thinks about you. You know who you are. Y'all have a blessed night.